Hey guys, welcome back to Cakes by Teresa. Um, today I want to show you guys a really simple, really easy way to get that fun zebra effect in your cake so that when you slice into it, um, it looks like zebra lines. But also today, instead of just two colors, I'm going to go for four colors because I'm aiming for kind of a tie-dye, swirly, psychedelic look. So I'm going to show you how we're going to do it using minimal supplies and make it the easiest possible anybody can do this. So first, we are going to start with my two cake pans, 8 inch round, and like I said, I'm doing four colors. So I made my cake batter and just put it into four separate Tupperware bowls. Anything that's easy for you to grip and pour, okay? Cups, glasses, I've used anything. The colors I'm using today are red, blue, green, and orange. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put, I'm going to mix the coloring in each Tupperware and then I will show you how to pour them in the fan, to, in the pan, sorry, to get that fun effect. Okay, so as you can see, I've colored all my batter. I was going for really intense color and I think I've achieved that. Um, so what you're going to do is you're going to take turns of each color pouring it directly into the middle of the pan and you're always going to pour it directly into the middle. I've seen people use piping bags and all kinds of things but I just figure it's more mess, more cost and more cleanup. So I do it this way and I think it works beautifully. So first we're going to do, and I'm going to do this with one hand because I'm holding the camera with the other so it's going to get messy but concept is all good. Okay? You can pour right in the middle, not all of it, just some of it. Pour it in your other pan right in the middle. Okay, normally you'd wipe that, but I said one hand. Next, I'm going to grab the blue, and you're going to pour it directly in the middle of the pan on top of your other color. Just like that. Imagine if you had to fill four piping bags with tips. I guess you wouldn't technically need tips, but still, a pain. Now, if I was going to zebra the orange and the blue, I would go back to the orange and pour it right in the middle and just keep alternating blue and orange, okay? And at the end, I'm going to show you what a zebra one looks like when it's been cut open. But this time, like I said, we're going for a whole bunch of colors. So, okay, so let's do red next. We're just going to keep going. You just keep going until your batter level is where you need it to be. It's okay if it's not perfect, not center, because it just doesn't really matter. If you're going to traditionally marble a cake, you'd really just pour the batter in and swirl it around, maybe make a couple layers, but this gives just a really cool effect when you cut into the cake. And um, kids freak over this completely freak. So once I started doing it, word got out and this is just pretty much how all my kid cakes are now. So I've done all four colors, now I'm going back to my orange, the color I started with. And like I said, we're just going to keep going until the batter level is where it needs to be. So I'm going to put the camera down and finish going then I'll show you what it looks like when we're done. Okay, so they're done. You can see nice and up close all those layers. It reminds me of a Dr. Seuss book, doesn't it? Lots of fun, fun, fun colors. And uh, we're going to bake it like normal, cool it like normal, and I'll show you what it looks like. 